Right now for you at 430, Farmington police are investigating after someone sent a racist piece of mail to an African-American family, including a member of the town's new racial equality task force. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanin spoke with the victim today. Jessica Harrison helped organize this Black Lives Matter protest in the Unionville section of Farmington because she understands racism can exist anywhere, but she was still stunned to find it right inside her mailbox. I pulled it out and honestly my first reaction was, is this some type of joke? Someone sent this phony hunting license to Jessica's home this weekend. It contains racist language so vulgar and offensive we've had to blur it and bleep it out. Federal hunting license having this certifies that dash dash having paid the license fee is hereby licensed to hunt and kill during the open search hereof in the U.S. Jessica doesn't know whether she was targeted because of the protest, her new role on the town's racial equality task force, or something she posted on Facebook. It's a very cowardly act to begin with. And so, you know, if you have something to say to me, then we can have a conversation, put your name, atta attach your name to it. Now Farmington police are investigating and the town council has condemned the notes anonymous author. Jessica isn't scared, but she is unnerved, especially because her 12 year old son was home when the letter arrived. I feel safe, but I'm diligent. I'm a lot more aware. Jessica says the note is awful, but the response has been inspiring. People all over Connecticut have sent love to the family. Now Jessica wants whoever sent the note to know their racist words won't make her back down. I think getting the letter itself after I collected myself, it really, that emboldened me. And it was just like, okay, well, I'm touching a nerve. Somebody's upset. Um, keep going. In Farmington, Roger Susanin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.